Hi everyone, Heather here with Time Clock Hub. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of your dashboard. When you log into your account, you will automatically be taken to this screen, which is your dashboard. On the left, you'll see a blue widget that displays your company name. Underneath your company name, you'll see a pencil icon. Clicking on this will allow you to add a welcome message or reminder that will be displayed on all of your employees' dashboards. You can also make the text red or bold. Then click Save and you'll see your new message appear. Underneath is the pending request box, which serves as a central station for managers. This will give you an overview of anything that needs approval or verification from a manager. You can click on each of these categories to view the requests. For example, I'll click to review the one pending timesheet request. Here you can see that an employee has manually submitted a timesheet. Employees can manually submit a timesheet request if they would like to request a time, change a time, or perhaps they forgot to clock in or out. In order for the time on the request to actually apply to the record, it needs to be approved by a manager. You can do this by clicking the green check mark on the right. You can also decline the request by clicking on the red X. Going back to the dashboard, you'll see that I now have zero pending timesheet requests. Next on the list is possible clock-in errors. The system will automatically notify you whenever an employee has worked over 13 hours in a 24-hour period. Here you can see that these flag records have really long shift lengths. This likely means that these employees forgot to clock out. Next on the list is absence requests. Any request for vacation time or any kind of time off will show up in this list. Lastly are timesheets to verify, which is basically an overview of everyone's timesheets displayed on one page. This will allow you to review all timesheets when it comes time to generating payroll. You can verify a timesheet by clicking the checkbox on the right. You can also verify all timesheets by clicking on this checkbox. Then click Save. Managers usually look over the pending request box once a day or once a week. Let's go back to the dashboard. To the right of the pending request box is the Who's in Stats box. This will tell you how many employees are scheduled for today, how many employees are clocked in now, how many total employees have clocked in today, and how many employees are currently clocked out. Clicking on any of these will open a list displaying the corresponding employees. Next is the My Task widget. This will display any tasks that have been assigned to you that need to be completed. It will also display any pending tasks that you've assigned to others. The Live Stream widget is an overview of all the activity in the back end of your time clock. Here you'll display when something has been approved or declined, when someone clocks in or clocks out, when someone goes on break, when a task is created, a task is finished, etc. At the bottom of the dashboard are two graphs. The green graph on the left displays an estimate pay amount for each day based on the wage set in the employee's profile. The blue graph on the right displays the amount of hours worked. Use the icons on the top right of each graph to toggle the display from a line graph to a bar graph when needed. On the right side of the dashboard is the time card. This will display the records for your clock ins, your clock outs, your breaks, and your absences for the corresponding pay period. Totals are displayed at the bottom of the time card, including your total clock in and out time, your total break time, and your total absence time for the pay period. When payroll is generated, the time card will be cleared for the next pay period. On the top right of your dashboard, you'll see a plus icon which allows you to quickly add a new employee to your system. The bell icon is for your messages. Mine says zero since I don't have any messages at the moment. You can also send a message to an employee by clicking on send view messages. The person icon displays alerts related to the pending request box. The question mark icon will provide you with a description of each icon and widget on the dashboard. At the top of the dashboard is the clock in button. When you click clock in, the button options will change to start break and clock out. When you click on start break, you'll have the option to end your break. And when you clock out, this button will change back to the clock in button. So that's an overview of your dashboard. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact us through the live chat window on the bottom right. We hope you're enjoying your new time clock. Thanks for watching and have a great day.